Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 19 says, for which of the following values of x is the function f of x equals the square root of 4 minus x squared not defined as a real number? So you might be thinking, well, if it's not a real number, what is it? Yeah, like what other kinds of numbers are there? So there's a whole nother branch of numbers called imaginary numbers. And these imaginary numbers come from trying to take the square root of a negative number. Okay, so this is really going to be the key point here. The square root of a negative number is not real. Okay, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means it's not real. You know, you might be thinking of real like in the, in, you know, just in terms of what the English word means. Um, but in mathematics, a real number is really just a classification of the numbers that are on the number line. Every number, whether it's an integer, like a whole number, or a uh, fraction, or even an irrational number like pi or the square root of 2, all of those are real numbers. It's on the number line, it's a real number. But square roots of negative numbers are not real. That's because there is no real number, there's no number on the number line that if you were to multiply it by itself would give you something like negative 1. Okay, so in order for this to be not a real number, this number underneath here needs to be negative. Okay, so um, I guess the easiest way to say this is what we're looking for is 4 minus x squared needs to be negative for f of x uh, to not real. Okay, so we have our answer choices here, and while we could set up an inequality and solve it, I think, you know, we've seen a couple problems like this where the algebra is just way overkill. I think we're just going to plug in numbers here and see which one works. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, so if I plug in negative 2, I'm going to get Well, if I can actually <laughs> type something, there we go. We get 4 minus negative 2 squared. Okay. Now, negative 2 squared is 4, right? And uh, 4 minus 4 is 0. Move this over a little bit. So this thing is just going to equal square root of 0, which is just 0. And 0 is on the number line. Uh, so it is real. That is not going to be our answer. I'm going to move this over a little bit here for you. Get too crowded in here. Okay. So, yeah. So there we go. B, if we plug in, um, we plug in zero, see what happens. So I'm just going to take all this and copy and paste this here. I plug in 0 instead of negative 2. Well, 0 squared is just 0, and 4 minus 0 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So 2 is a number on the number line, so there, that one would be real also. That's not the answer choice we're looking for here. Um, if we try to plug in 2, get 4 minus 2 squared. Well, again, four, 2 squared is 4, and 4 minus 4 is 0. So again, we get 0, another number that is real. Now, if we try to plug in 4, um, we've already... You know, by process of elimination, I've figured out our answer here. But if I try to plug in 4, I get uh, 4 minus 4 squared. 4 squared is 16, and so 4 minus 16 would be negative 12. Okay? So this is going to be a non-real answer. Okay? This is not real. Now, we could, you know, talk for hours about, you know, these imaginary numbers, which are the ones that are not real. Um, there's a whole lot that we could discuss here, but I think really the key idea that you need to know to get a problem like this right is that when you try to take the square root of a negative number, you are going to get a number that's not real. So our answer here is going to be D, and that about wraps it up for number 19. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.